Monday, beginning of the week, halfway through the month. It's the 14th of March. I'm Mark Peterson, the 4 News Now First Alert Weather Center. Good morning, everybody. 40 degrees and breezy out there with cloud cover. Four things you need to know as we get going on this day is the fact that indeed we will have rain this afternoon overnight through tomorrow with tomorrow afternoon being shower and thunder shower activity. Um, look for windy and mild temperatures over the next 24 hours. Things should calm down and cool down for Wednesday. Day planner forecast day. Again, uh, temperatures around 40 heading out, 45 at noon. Our high today is going to be 50 with more sustained rain coming in. It looks like after 2 o'clock. Satellite radar, very busy. We've had snow into the higher elevation, certainly in the Cascades. We're going to see more of that into areas of North Idaho today, not so much tomorrow. Uh, look for Stevens Pass getting a foot of snow or more, but then Snoqualmie Pass getting a couple of inches. Mount Spokane's already picked up a couple of inches. That forecast calls for that continuation of scattered showers, a break, and then about 2 o'clock we're going to see this thing really kick in, and we're going to have more sustained rain with um, uh, more so into the Palouse than what we'll be seeing going to be south of I-90. Just a heads up. Uh, flooding potential is out there. Today's highs 50, 47 into Deer Park, 48 Coeur d'Alene. Tri-Cities at 61 degrees. So we are going to have rainy conditions this afternoon, overnight into tomorrow with a break tomorrow afternoon. Chance of thunder shower activity though and we'll have uh, highs of 54 on Tuesday with those gusty winds we were talking about, gusts 40 miles an hour. Wednesday calmer, cooler 49 and then warming on Thursday, 52, and then back into the mid-50s for the end of the week. Not looking too bad. We want you to know what's going on. The First Alert weather app is available. It's been uh, upgraded, so refresh and or uh, download it for the first time in your um, app store. Okay, in the 4 News Now news app with push alerts, you activate those, and when things happen, you're going to know about it straight away. All right, remember, rain, winds, and some thunder shower activity tomorrow afternoon. I'm Mark Peterson. Have a great day.